I'm Matt Townend, and welcome to my crib. So behind me, you'll see my Nash Titan T1 Mark II. Now, when the guys at Nash said that they were gonna send one of these out for a review, and they said, you're welcome to hold on to it, give it a use and abuse over a bit of time, my first thoughts were, meh. Now, don't get me wrong, these bivvies are renowned for their strength and stability. Hell, I've seen pictures of people stood on top of them and even being protected from trees falling on them in storms. Now, the problem for me is that I'm largely a brolly angler, and that means being able to pack things up and carry things at light weight as possible. And the problem with this was that it weighs 14.9 kilos. So for me, that was gonna be a big problem. So how on earth did I go from meh to this being my go-to shelter for the winter months? Right, so let's run through some of those key features which I've found to be a massive plus for my own fishing. So yes, like I said, speed and weight were a big factor for me. And while it does weigh 14.9 kilos, that includes absolutely everything, including the inner skin, and it can be set up with that in place. Now, when it comes to speed, despite its large size, it's incredibly quick and easy to set up to. So for those of you that don't know how one of these Titans go up, like I say, it couldn't be more simple. Take it out of the bag, you fit all the ribs together, and they're just a simple two-part construction, so you're not having to put loads and loads of ribs together. You then get the central block in front of your body, fan out all of those ribs, and then the two front ribs literally pull together and the whole lot pops up together. You then take the front arms and pop them into the sockets, which you can see either side of me here, and your shelter's up. It's freestanding it is, and you don't even need to put pegs in it at that point. Obviously, you want to stick some pegs in to keep it in place, but as I said, it's freestanding, and you can start chucking your kit in if it's lashing it down. Speaking of inclement weather, that's one of the other big plus points that I've found with the Titan. Now, I spend most of my life on the bank sat underneath the brolly, and whilst it does have some plus points, it also has a lot of negatives too. And this has been really game-changing for those winter months, just on the sheer level of comfort during those really cold and horrible nights to be out on the bank. So one of those key features has been the inner capsule. Again, this was another one of those things I thought, yeah, I'll be taking it out straight away, but I've got to say, I've actually left it in the entire time I've had it. It's made fishing in those horrible, muddy, wet conditions an absolute breeze and taking comfort to a whole new level. It stops condensation from the inside and I also find that if you fold back the ground sheet, which is all built in, you can stick all your muddy boots on that and you're not getting a load of mud traipsed into the bivvy. Then you've got this bad boy. This massive peak really does come into its own when you've got driving rain. You can letterbox the front, just like I've done here, see out into the lake, and you're completely protected, even when you've got almost horizontal rain, because of how far this peak comes out. As you'll see, they've also got the front bar fitted on the Mark II version, and that stops water from pooling up at the top here, making sure it just runs straight down the side. As you can see, with the front storm poles attached, that's absolutely solid, and that's the case for the whole bivy in itself. Now, as you can see, it's quite a large one-man bivvy, and that means you're not hunching over like you would be sat underneath a brolly and there's plenty of space for all your kit. It also comes with all the bells and whistles that you'd expect from a more premium shelter. It's got a removable front, which is fully customizable with a whole range of mozzie mesh panels, which all zip in place. The front door, as you can see, you can letterbox it or zip it up and roll it up from the bottom and the inner capsule also features a mozzie mesh front on it as well. So you can zip the entire front off, but leave the inner capsule in there with the mozzie mesh to stop you from getting eaten alive in the warmer months. Speaking of warmer months, obviously I've said how much of a great shelter it is over the winter, but also you can strip it right back and use it during the summer months. You've got two nice big mesh vents at the back too, which help with that ventilation. And like I say, it's once stripped out, it's nowhere near as big and cumbersome as it is with all of that inner capsule in place. At the end of the day, despite being warm in the summer, you're still going to get thunderstorms and driving rain. So if you're going to be going out in those conditions, you're going to want a more substantial shelter to keep dry. Another plus point, as well as the material being really waterproof, it actually cuts out a lot of the light, especially when you've got that inner capsule put inside too. Now this is great if, like me, you like to have a little snooze during the day, catch up on a bit of sleep when you've been burning those optical calories all morning. So there you go, that's the Nash Titan T1 Mark II. For more information and full specification, check it out on the Nash website, nashtackle.co.uk.